Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Rockin' Story Time. Let's start off by clapping our hands. Can you clap your hands along with me at home? Good job, here we go. We clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello. To all our friends at Story Time, we clap and sing hello. Great job everyone. Now let's stomp our feet. I know you can't see my feet, but here are my knees. One, two, here we go. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Rockin' Story Time. And it's the first week of spring. Yay, spring! So I thought we would read some stories and sing some songs to celebrate spring. Spring has sprung. So let's start off by saying the word spring. Can you say the word spring at home? Spring, spring. That'll be our word of the day for our bread and butter rhyme. So for bread and butter, we clap our hands and we clap our knees. Clap our hands, clap our knees. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say spring as fast as we can. Spring, 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 spring. Can you do it at home too? Say it really fast. Spring, 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 spring. Hey, it's not too bad. All right, let's try another one. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say spring as slowly as we can. Oh, a good S at the beginning. Spring. Ooh, that sounds really good. All right, ready? We're gonna start out with that S, S and then turn into a P. Spring. Good job, everyone. Let's do another. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say spring as loud as we can. Spring. Great job. Let's do one more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say spring as quiet as we can. Spring, good job. Let's see what our first spring story is today. It is Bear Wants More. <laughs> Bear Wants More is by Karma Wilson and illustrated by Jane Chapman. Bear Wants More. I know what Bear has been doing all winter. Bear has been hibernating. So Bear has been sleeping and sleeping all winter long and hasn't been waking up. So that means Bear also hasn't been eating all winter. So when bears wake up in the spring, they're really hungry and they want more. <laughs> Let's see what happens in Bear Wants More. When springtime comes in his warm winter den, a bear wakes up very hungry and thin. There's bear waking up. Bear's waking up and stretching. Can you give a big stretch? Oh, stretch. Oh, welcome spring. He waddles outside and roots all around. He digs and he paws fresh shoots from the ground. He nibbles on the lawn till the last blade is gone. But the bear wants more. <gasps> Mouse scampers by with an acorn pail. Come along, Mouse squeaks to the strawberry veil. So up Mouse hops onto Bear's back. There's Mouse. Onto Bear's back. They tromp through the woods for the fresh fruit snack. The berries grow sweet and they eat, 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 but the bear wants more. Oh, what's bear gonna eat now? The noon sun glows when a long hops hair. Good day, friend mouse. How do, friend bear? I'm hungry, roars bear, hair says. Follow me. There's fresh clover patch by the cottonwood tree. They nibble on their lunch with a crunch, crunch, crunch. But, can you say it with me? 
but the bear wants more. That's right, the bear wants more. Badger, oh, Badger's here. Badger shuffles by with his new fishing pole. There's a fine fish feast at the old fishing hole. They head to the pond and they sit by the shore. Bear catches fish. But he still wants more. Meanwhile, back at the big bear's den, wait Gopher and Mole and Raven and Wren. They bake honey cakes. They decorate the lair. It's a springtime party for their good friend, Bear. You see, they're making food, making food here, and they're putting up garlands of flowers. Bear rubs his tummy. He smells something yummy. And he still wants more. Bear sniffs and he snuffles as a sweet breeze blows. He romps to his home. He follows his nose. His friends yell, surprise! Can you say surprise? Surprise! That's right, his friends yell surprise when he gets to his den. But Bear is so big that he can't fit back in. Oh no, he's stuck. Poor Bear. <laughs> Bear wails, what luck. I am stuck, stuck, stuck in my own front door. Oh no, poor Bear. Mouse squeaks, poor Bear. He's wedged too tight. Hair tugs, Raven pushes with all their might. Badger gets a stick. And he pries so hard. Do you see him prying with a stick? He pries so hard that Bear pops out and he lands in his yard. <laughs> Since Bear is so wide, they party outside. And he still wants more. Bear opens presents. He gobbles honey cakes. He eats so much that his tummy aches. Oh, Bear, don't do that. Silly Bear. He snuggles in the grass. He snores, big snores. Shoo! He is full, 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 finally. But his friends want more. <laughs> Look at his friends. Look, he's eating his fill but they're still hungry. The end. What do you think they should do next? Now that Bear is asleep and Bear is happy, they're back together with Bear again. Maybe they should go back to the fishing hole and catch some more fish. What would you do? The end. <laughs> Great listening, everyone. I think it's time for us to do a little bear song. Do you think that you could get out your bear claws at home? Bear claws, good job. If you were listening to Storytimes last year, we did some silly bear song like this, and it goes like this. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear one day. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear one day. And they all went grr, grr, grr. But we know bears go. Huggy, huggy, hug, huggy, huggy, hug, huggy, huggy, hug. We know bears go. Huggy, huggy, hug. They don't go. Grr, grr, grr. Good job, everyone. So that's an extra silly song because bears, of course, do go grr, grr, grr. But do you think you can sing that silly song with me? Can you start off by making your bear claws? And can you say grr, 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 grr? Good job. All right, let's do that one more time. Are you ready? Grr, grr, went the big brown bear one day. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear one day. And they all went grr, grr, grr. But we know bears go 
Huggy, huggy, hug. Huggy, huggy, hug. Huggy, huggy, hug. We know bears go. Huggy, huggy, hug. They don't go grr, grr, grr. Good job, everyone. That was excellent and great gurring. All right, I think it's time for us to do a weather song. So this one is one we tried last week. We tried it with, let's see, snow and wind and sun. And this week, let's try, we'll get rid of some, some of that snow and we'll do a wind, sun, and rain. So the song goes like this. Can you make some wind? Good job. Here we go. Wind is blowing. What do I do? Wind is blowing. What do I do? Wind is blowing. What do I do? What do I do, my darling? Now let's put the hood up on our jacket. Can you put up your hood? Put your hood up on your jacket. Good job. Here we go. Put my hood up. That's what I'll do. Put my hood up. That's what I'll do. Put my hood up, that's what I'll do, that's what I'll do, my darling. Good job. Now, how about we put some rain? Can we sprinkle some rain coming down on our heads? Here we go. Rain is falling, what should I do? Rain is falling, what should I do? Rain is falling, what should I do? What should I do, my darling? All right, now we're going to pick up our feet and we're going to, I don't know if you can see my foot. We'll pick up our feet and we'll put on rain boots. Can you put on rain boots? Here we go. Put on rain boots, that's what I'll do. Put on rain boots, that's what I'll do. Put on rain boots, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do, my darling. Good job, everyone. Let's do one more and we'll have the sun shining. Can you bring the sun out in a big circle just like this? Good job. Nice job, everyone. The sun is shining, what will I do? Sun is shining, what will I do? Sun is shining, what will I do? What will I do, my darling? Let's all put on sunscreen. I don't know about you, but I put on sunscreen for the first time in a while this weekend because it was so warm out. Let's put on sunscreen, here we go. <laughs> put on sunscreen, that's what I'll do. Put on sunscreen, that's what I'll do. Put on sunscreen, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do, my darling. Great job, everyone, that was excellent. I think it's time for us to read our second and last story. And this story is called Mouse's First Spring. Mouse's First Spring is by Laura Thompson and illustrated by Bucket uh, Erdogan. Erdogan, better Erdogan, all right. Here we go. Mouse's first spring. One windy spring day, Mouse and Mama went out to play. There in the grass, Mouse found something glittery and flittery. What could it be? wondered Mouse. Look, said Mama. It's a, what is this? It's a butterfly. Then whoosh blew the wind and the fluttery, buttery butterfly flew away. There it goes. There under a leaf, Mouse found something slithery and slimy. What could it be? wondered Mouse. Look, said Mama, it's a, what is this? It's a snail. Then whoosh blew the wind, and Heidi insidey, the snail hid inside. There on the branch, Mouse found something feathery and plump. What could it be? wondered Mouse. Look, said Mama, it's a, what is this? It's a bird. Then, are you ready to blow like the wind? Then whoosh blew the wind and dip, flip, flap, the bird darted away. There by the pond, the mouse found something green and peeping. What could it be? wondered Mouse. Look, said Mama, it's a, what is this? 
It's a frog. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Then, whoosh, blew the wind, and splishy splash, the frog hopped away. Boing, boing. There in the dirt, Mouse found something pink and wiggly. What could it be? wondered Mouse. Look, said Mama. It's a, what is this? What's pink and wiggly in the dirt? It's a worm. It's a worm. Then whoosh blew the wind and squiggly squeeze the worm slid away. There on a stem, Mouse found something sweet and petally. What could it be? wondered Mouse. Look, said Mama, a flower, a flower. Then whoosh blew the wind and rumpily bumpily, Mouse tumbled away. Oh, bumpity bump. Then all around, Mouse found something soft, and cuddly, and oh so cozy. Hmm, what could it be? Wondered Mouse. What do you think? <laughs> Smooch came a kiss, and ooch came a hug. It's me, said Mama. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. Spring is here, little mouse, and I love you. The end. Great listening, everyone, and happy spring. I think it's time for us to stand up and sing some head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Are you ready? Here, can you find your head? Can everyone find their head at home? Good job, here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Do you think we can do it a little faster? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Great dancing and singing today. And head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Excellent work, everyone. I can't wait to see you all next week. And happy, happy spring. Bye-bye.